Hi guys, welcome back to the channel Chainsaw Man episode 8 chapter review So we pick up with, you know, we've got the whole squad 4 You know, I'm looking down at the mouth of the devil Then my boy Denji jumps in and he goes full Chainsaw Man, right? So the interesting thing, you know, while Denji is busy cutting through this devil One of the realizations that we get to see is that this is going to be sort of an impossible task because denji he is you know he is essentially fighting this de this devil and it keeps on regenerating i mean this thing has like multiple heads multiple mouths and i mean at some point it even bites denji on the hand and it says to him that he is weak you know um from their last encounter and for me the question is how does this devil actually know denji because I don't understand how it could be, you know, the two devils that Denji slayed, one with an axe in the earlier episodes, or one of the many devils that Denji, you know, killed when he immediately got his powers, right? So while Denji is still, you know, on the rope, it's revealed that his strength is correlated with his, you know, drinking of blood. And he actually starts to drink the blood of this devil and he even says that, it's as disgusting as the blood might be you know it's giving him strength he does so and my boy you know starts to get some boost and we should back up where we see arai himone and the team dude and they just look terrified and scared then boom we get a flashback of himone again in the grave you know we get to see her with her master right and they're talking about you know how all of the devil hunters that have died um one of the reasons they died fighting devils it's because they let fear get the most of them you know and for that fact that they have fear of the devils they get you know the devils always have an edge over them and that to actually defeat these devils you need somebody who has their screws loose you need somebody that's crazy and one of the awesome realizations that we get is that aki is actually you know he, himone is actually more experienced than aki and she was the one that was training you know aki as a new um devil hunter essentially so we cut to this other scene now back to the supper or another version of the supper where himone is having some food with aki and that you know she, she speaks in her mind to say that you know what aki would never be able to to kill the gun devil right and that the reason is not that they wouldn't have the might or the power but the reason is that aki is a normal person he's a normal guy he's cool his calm is collected but for some for somebody to defeat that gun devil you actually need and then we switch to denji fighting that devil you need somebody who essentially has their screws loose you need somebody who's crazy enough to do what denji is doing which is to fight that devil you know and then one of the revelations even in that flashback that we get confirmed which is that the gun devil is essentially the main antagonist for this you know for the season i guess and then you know denji is also getting knocked down i mean it is sort of an impossible task to be fighting you know so many demons from a quantity perspective it is quite challenging right and then we see denji get knocked down at some point and then himone you know after that realization that this guy needs to survive you know this could be our trump card in the battle against the gun devil she assists him with the, the hand of the ghost to wake him up then she drinks some blood and then the saga continues my boy even goes you know psycho mode to say that i could do this the whole day i mean denji has just given in into his devil like you know bloodthirst he's all in man right and then we cut to the next scene where now we get to see that it's been three days since the whole ordeal or since the whole battle has started between denji and that devil right and then himone even gets into bed with aki you know to catch some z's the guys look beaten up they look tired they look mentally exhausted they look hungry they look beat up right and then we cut back to denji and dude we get to see that denji is still going still fighting and that devil dude it says that dude i've had it i've had it with this i've been fighting for days i can handle the pain and we get to see denji even cut the last head of that devil and boom 
um, the battle is over. The guys, um, the guys won, and they even get out of the building. Where now, you know, having won the battle, Denji can cut back loose. And again, my boy is exhausted. He's tired. He blacks out. And then we get um, a short detective scene where we see Aki and Himone, you know, still going after the the gun devil. The guys are doing some investigative work. And a conversation starts where Himone suggests that they need to get supper together, you know, for squad four, you know, to essentially strengthen the relationship. I mean, you know, this definitely needs to happen, especially after, you know, how these guys all almost betrayed Denji, man. I mean, half of the team was saying, let's kill this guy to solve their own damn asses, right? So uh, quite a good idea, man. I mean, you know, we need some character building. Um, they obviously need to work on their, you know, team skills. So Himone then poses the question to Aki to say that, dude, why is Makima so interested in Denji? And how, you know, how it seems like this guy is at the center of this whole saga. The more we are approaching the gun devil, right? Oh boy. Okay. And then we get our our scene where we get to see the team having supper together they're having some drinks um and obviously powers is being powers she's hogging the hell out of the food dude i mean <laughs> this chick is so greedy man ah uh, and then we see um denji sitting next to him one and he goes in to say that dude we made a deal i killed the devil i want what's mine right he wants a kiss and then Himone says to him that um I'm, I'm i'm you know i'm i need to get drunk to do this right and then one of the guys makes a suggestion that um you know let's get the new recruits to introduce themselves and then we see Arai stand up he's the one that starts to make an introduction of himself and then we see also kobone do an introduction now the interesting part about kobone is that she says she can't reveal the devil she made a deal with it's a secret and I mean, I'm excited, dude. Now it makes some sense how Kowone got selected, you know, to become a devil um, hunt, essentially. She must have some crazy power for her to be such a coward and to, to get enrolled, you know, as part of the devil hunters. It means there must be something about it. But yeah, hope to get to, well, I'll definitely get to see that. But yeah, something I'm definitely keeping a close eye on. And then it's revealed that, you know, new recruits actually die easy when it comes to, the, you know, public devil hunting. And, you know, we, you just get to see the fear on Arai and Kobone's eyes, dude. Where even this other member of the team reveals that from her team, she's the only one outstanding. You know, which goes to show you that it is quite an impossible task. I mean, but it does make sense. I mean, think about some of these devils, dude. Most of these devil hunters are human and most of them in order to even compete with these devils they have to make deals with the devils themselves. Then Makima shows up and you know she sits next to Aki and then Aki gets straight down to it to say that you know while we while we're talking about the gun devil what's happening with Denji you know to pick up from the conversation she had with Himone. Himone Denji seems to be at the center of this these devils know him and you know the closer we are getting he's taking center focus do you know anything about this and then Makima obviously tries to you know sidestep the conversation to say that if you beat me at drinking then I'll reveal it if you don't obviously she's not going to disclose it and then funny enough, we never get to see the conclusion of that whole conversation. So I don't know if maybe it happened offline, if Aki won. But I can imagine, Makima probably can freaking drink, man. These hot chicks. Then, boom, from nowhere, my boy Denji gets a kiss from Himone as expected. I mean, dude, she's going in. Tongue and everything. My boy is happy as a morpho. And out of nowhere, dude... Imone just pukes in Denji's mouth and then Powers dude she loses it. She straight up laughs at Denji and then you know she says that <laughs> instinctually if there's any nutrition in the puke Denji's going to swallow it and he straight up does it. <laughs> and, then, and then we cut to this bathroom scene where we see Denji hurling and <laughs> the funny part is Denji's crying and he's not crying because He's crying because his dream got shattered, dude. He's been anticipating this so much. And when he finally gets it, 
you know, somebody pukes in his mouth and he swallows. Ah, oh, man, that's so nasty. That's so nasty. And then obviously we cut to our final scene of the episode where the guys are going. And then we get to see Denji get, you know, carried by Himon. I don't know if my boy was, you know, sloshed from drinking so much or it's because, you know, he was knocked out from all the puking he did. And then he wakes up, dude, in Himone's bed. And oh boy, my boy is about to get one of his dreams fulfilled. But then Denji dude is got probably one of the worst lucks. So my boy, um, we got our fingers crossed for you. <laughs> Hopefully this gets to happen. Hopefully there's no freaking devil that comes in at the last minute and tries to mess things up. But yeah, that's it for, for the video. Um, great episode again. If you enjoyed the video, guys, please leave a like, um, leave a comment. Let me know what I could have missed, what you liked about the episode, and consider subscribing to the channel. Check you guys next time.